want to join me? Then watch the rest of the video. Greetings. This is iObserver and today, we're going to look at how you can mirror iPhone to TV without an Apple TV. Before we start, please support my channel and watch the video until the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Right then, let's get started and review our solutions. AirPlay is Apple's proprietary streaming technology and it works with smart TVs from brands such as LG and Sony and streaming devices like Roku and Fire TV. Not all models support AirPlay, but my TV specifically has this function. If you want to check whether your TV has AirPlay 2, press the source button on your remote, then edit, find AirPlay on the list and enable it. Return and you'll see AirPlay under available sources. Press it, go to the Apple section and then to HomeKit settings. Select on. After setting this function up, you'll be able to mirror your screen from iPhone to TV using AirPlay. Make sure your smart TV and iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Open the control center on your iPhone and tap screen mirroring. Choose your smart TV to start mirroring your phone. As you can see, the delay is minimal. To stop the broadcast, click the dynamic island of your iPhone and stop the broadcast. Don't worry if your TV doesn't have AirPlay, because there are a couple of other solutions you can try. One of the most popular and affordable ways is Chromecast, Google's streaming device. If you have a new TV from brands like Sony, TCL, Vizio, or Philips, then there's a good chance it has Chromecast built into it. You'll have to get the device separately if yours doesn't. It's more accessible than AirPlay, but one of the biggest disadvantages is that it doesn't let you mirror your iPhone screen without a third-party app. One of the most popular apps on the market is AirBeam. It's also compatible with other streaming devices like Roku and Fire TV. But I don't like that the developer has a new application for each device. It's super wasteful and not convenient. Here, I'm going to show you right now how to screen mirror with iPhone using Chromecast and a third-party app. Once again, let's make sure that we are on the same Wi-Fi network. Download the AirBeam app to the iPhone. You can choose an application for different TVs. I don't like this approach, but maybe someone will find it convenient. Accept all the necessary permissions to let it access the local network. Tap Screen Mirror and choose your Chromecast TV or device. Close the pop-up window and click Screen Mirroring again. Tap Start Mirroring and then tap Start Broadcast. You can now see your phone screen on your TV. In the free version, there's no audio playback. And also you can immediately notice delays. There's another app that you can use for iPhone mirroring to TV without an Apple TV. It's called Screen Mirror. The app works with most modern smart TVs and streaming devices and you can use it to mirror and cast videos. You can get the hang of it pretty easily. Here's what you have to do, launch the app. Give it all the necessary permissions it asks for. Choose Smart TV, Streaming Device, when you're asked to select a device. Tap Screen Mirroring. Choose your Chromecast after it finishes searching for nearby devices. Go back to the Screen Mirroring section and tap the red record button. Tap Start Broadcasting. Screen Mirroring on the free version has a time limit. You need the premium version to unlock unlimited duration. In my opinion, the app is 4.85. Screen mirroring with a cable for people who still love cables, you can connect your iPhone to your TV with an HDMI wire. You have to buy Apple's official Lightning Digital AV adapter first and then connect the HDMI cable to your phone and TV. The good thing is that you don't need a Wi-Fi connection for this to work and you can screen mirror without Apple TV. Once you have the cable, setting it up is pretty simple. Connect the adapter to your iPhone's Lightning port you will be able to see the device connection indicator on the dynamic island. Connect one end of the HDMI cable to the adapter and the other to the TV. And your iPhone screen will appear on the TV with minimal delays. Very convenient if you play games using a game controller. We're finished. I hope it was useful for you. If you've got any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and share the video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave.